Hello everyone, welcome to Gen Infopedia. In this video, you can learn what is MEGAR or mega ohm meter or IR, insulation resistance meter. And how to measure insulation resistance of your cables or transformers. And this video includes uh, live IR measurement of uh, some equipments like cables etc. So I hope this video will be very useful to you. So don't skip and watch this video up to this end. And friends, before starting this video, please subscribe and uh, support my YouTube channel. Mega ohm meter, sometimes we all called it as a uh, mega, but uh, correct name is mega ohm meter only or insulation tester. And uh, name mega is one of the insulation tester manufacturer name. Uh, so don't confuse that mega and mega ohm meter. Uh, mega ohm meter is the correct name. So now we will see what is mega ohm meter. Actually, a mega ohm meter is an uh, electric meter that measures uh, very high resistance values by sending a high voltage signal into the insulators. So it provides a quick and a easy way to determine the condition of the insulation on wire or generators and motor windings and transformer windings etc. So this mega ohm meter built in a direct current generator. Uh, for example when making an insulation resistance test a high DC voltage is applied to the conductor on the test and the resulting current flow is measured. So now we will see why insulation testing is uh, that much of important in uh, electrical equipments. So every electric wire or uh, bus ports in industry or domestic, whether it is in a motor or a generator or cable, switch, transformer, etc. All this equipment covered with some form of electrical insulation means insulator. This uh, wire or uh, bus ports is usually copper or aluminium. So this copper or aluminium is a good conductor of the electric current. But the uh, insulator is just opposite from a conductor. So this insulator uh, should resist uh, current and uh, keep the current in its path along the conductor. So basically the testing of our equipment insulation resistance is essential uh, to ensure uh, proper working of wires in motors, transformers, etc. So to understand our insulation testing on a simple equation is Ohm's law only uh, V is equal to I into R. If the resistance of the insulation material will increase, automatically it resists the current and uh, keep the current in its path along the conductor. Suppose if the resistance of the insulator will decrease, there is some uh, leakage current between conductor and ground. For example, you see figure A, the purpose of insulation around a conductor is much like that of a pipe carrying water. So pressure on water from a pump causes uh, water flow along this pipe. So if the pipe is damaged then water will leak. So automatically we lost some water and also reduced our water pressure. In same way look at the figure B with the electricity voltage is like the pump pressure and it causes electricity to flow along the copper wire. And insulator is like a water pipe. So if insulator resistance is low, then electrical leakage happens in this circuit. So it may cause uh, equipment damage or uh, less performance. So how insulation go bad in our equipments? When your electrical system and equipment are new, the electrical insulation should be in high resistance, right? But on time beings, this insulator's resistance value will get reduced due to a lot of reasons. Some reasons are mechanical damage, vibrations and excessive heat or dirt or corrosive vapors etc. In those conditions, yeah, small pinholes or cracks will develop in insulators. So moisture and dust automatically penetrate the surface of the insulation and it provides a low resistance path for uh, leakage current. Usually insulator resistance uh, will start uh, drops gradually only and it gives uh, more warnings. So we need to check our insulation resistance on a periodic basis uh, to prevent our equipment damage. Now we will see how to use mega ohm meter for uh, insulation measurement. So basically two types of uh, mega ohm meter is used. One is a low voltage insulation tester which is used up to 1000 volt only. And second one is high voltage insulation tester, which is used for uh, high voltage equipments. So here is the mega ohm meter connection drawings for uh, cables up to 1 kV. So up to 1 kV, we will use only two probes. One is uh, line probe and another one is uh, earth probe. That line probe directly connected to the cable conductor and this earth probe directly connected to the cable armor. And this drawings is for connections of cables above 1 kV. 
So above NKB, we need to connect uh, three probes in our uh, mega ohm meter. Uh, so actually that uh, line probe, red color probe directly connected to the cable conductor and uh, this black color probe, earth terminal directly connected to the cable armor and uh, third cable is guard, guard terminal in mega ohm meter. So actually this uh, guard terminal cable is uh, green. So this cable directly connected to our uh, cable insulation. So at this point, everyone having a doubt about why this guard terminal used in a mega ohm meter. And here is the explanation. When testing at higher voltages, uh, such as uh, with cable or transformers, the guard terminal can be used to divert uh, surface leakage current from the measuring circuit. For example, if you are uh, performing a primary to ground test on a transformer, you need to guard the secondary windings. Uh, so this guard connection provides a return path for the surface leakage current and uh, if not connect this guard terminal in HV equipments then it's create uh, some errors during uh, insulation resistance measurement. So uh, basically that measured uh, current that is equal to surface leakage current plus insulation leakage, leakage current. So insulation leakage current means leakage current through the insulation material and uh, surface leakage current means leakage current over the surface of the insulation. Now I show you how to use high voltage mega ohm meter. This high voltage mega ohm meter manufactured by Cure it show and having a lot of options and we can use this meter for both LV and HV insulation resistance measurement and also we can use this meter for measure voltages both AC and DC up to 600 volt and uh, there is some five options uh, 250 volt 500 volt 1000 volt 2500 volt and 5000 volt uh, depending on your requirement you can select the voltage levels uh, for example below 1 kv 1000 volt is enough and above 1 kv 2500 volt and 5000 volt and uh, dar and pa dar means dielectric absorption ratio and pa means uh, polarization index this option also available in this mega and also uh, one test button orange color button is the test button and three probes available in this uh, mega ohm meter one is a uh, line probe red color probe and uh, black color probe is for uh, earth terminal and uh, green color probe is for uh, god terminal so first i take a red color probe and insert it in line terminal of the mega ohm meter and then i take a black color probe and insert it in uh, earth terminal of the mega ohm meter and third one is god terminal and uh, suppose uh, if you are testing above 1 kV equipment, then you need to connect that uh, green color probe to this guard terminal of the mega ohm meter. That's it. Now you take the black color probe other end and uh, connect to testing cable armor and then take a uh, red color probe and uh, touch that red color probe to testing cable conductor. Uh, now you select the voltage rating in a mega ohm meter. Uh, for example, uh, 1000 volt or uh, 5000 volt depending on your uh, uh, equipment capacity and then uh, you just press the test button and now you will see uh, some uh, readings about uh, that insulation resistance value uh, suppose if the insulation resistance is weak then automatically it shows uh, 0.4 or 0 something uh, and this connection is for measuring uh, insulation resistance for high voltage transformers and you see the first picture uh, that first picture shows the connections between hv to earth and uh, the second picture shows the connection between HV and LV. And there is some uh, recommended minimum insulation resistance values for your equipment voltage ratings. Uh, so just look at this table. Uh, suppose if your equipment in uh, 250 volt, then minimum test voltage is 500 volt uh, DC. And uh, recommended minimum insulation resistance value is 25 mega ohm. So you just look at this. And if you want to know IR value of the panel bus bars, then uh, the formula is 2 into KV rating of the panel. For example, uh, your panel rating is 5 KV, then minimum insulation resistance required is uh, 2 into 5, that is equal to 10 mega ohm is the minimum resistance value required for your uh, panel. So friends, if you like this video, then please share this video to your friends and subscribe and support our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching this video.